It's the line for me. Um, this Derek Derek Jackson. <laughs> this guy, like, I'm not surprised because those of you that really know me, follow me um, virtually or in my real life, you know, y'all know how I feel about men. Uh respect them love them need them appreciate them but also i am very realistic about men you know um i'm a advocate i'm I'm for the people of women we are more emotional cheaters men are actual physical cheaters women will think about it we will fantasize and please and satisfy ourselves before we most of the time go out there and just do it hence the work husband thing you know um women we have the work work husband where there's like guys that are very interest interested in being with us um that we work with um but you kind of don't you know act on it unless you have like a big fight or that's usually the next go-to guy we usually just friends on that guy you know um but i i also i'm an advocate i'm southern i don't i believe in what my, my grandma and all the old other older people used to say which is you don't um eat where you shit at so i would never date a co-worker ever no and i'm a boss now so i employ people so i would never date an employee ever uh, but back to the Derek, um, I'm starting to believe that we're going to need maybe a, um, surviving, uh, Derek Jackson video because uh, our movie documentary, our series, because, um, there are women that are coming out of the woodworks, um, I would come behind a lot of things, um, just like the art, well, really the R. Kelly thing, well, yeah, women are coming out like the R. Kelly thing too, but mostly the reason why I'm comparing the two is like his wife, Denasia Jackson. Like, you seen? Like, I know she religious. I, I I get it, but baby, that is that is something extra. She coming out like, she, like she going hunting. She was like, I got on my shield and my warrior hat, and I'm like, girl, you ain't got to do all of that. Just. I ain't saying leave. But it need to be something going on. Like, y'all need some counseling. Y'all need something. Like, God damn. Like, I ain't going to say just leave because there are kids involved. Hence, why I don't think I'm getting married. <laughs> because I want to be able to grab what I, like, it ain't for me marriage ain't for me i at least at this point in my life this is another like this is why i got ptsd syndrome when it comes to a marriage because god dog this is just too much but i've never been an a fan of Derek. the th- a lot of things that he said that would pop up on my timeline um because some of my female friends facebook friends would share it and then also you know it'll just pop up it either be sponsored or it just pops up so sometimes i would click on it depending on like the the clickbait you know the title of it or whatever and um some of the things a lot of the things that he was saying was true which is you know y'all ain't got to put up with that now i'm hoping his wife actually listened to his content and realized baby girl you ain't got to put up with that like but I know she's religious, you know, you don't want to get a divorce and you got these kids and, you know, you got these other, um, social media people that are saying like, Hey, um, which I can verify that the dating scene ain't, re- ain't I ain't, ain't really all that out here. So it's kind of like stay with him, but realize, recognize and realize your place. Like he's, he went from, which they call it, they consider it a, a, a glow up. Cause like when you go look at their other pictures when um they were younger like i guess they're like high school sweethearts or something like that or college sweethearts i don't i don't know but um like most like every human being like you wasn't all that but then you know as your money grow and you get older you grow into your features and you can change things you know about yourself you know um so of course he's handsome now he's a black man who was who was uh talking that faithful talk and you know um a lot of women of all ethnicities are like oh, 
oh my god there there is men out there that exist because you know we got these fairy tale these disney movies or whatever where it's the happily ever after you know um i like that he did keep his family private because i'm like that as well like i know you know with my business and doing um um commentary and um online and stuff like i keep my most of my uh like my personal life uh separated from this stuff up here you know so i respected that but he ain't like that he was doing that for uh selfish evil reasons uh you knew that vagina was gonna be thrown at him you know what i mean uh you knew that because there are a lot of broken women out here who are just like who who may not they want him full time but they know they can't get him full time so they'll just take a little bit of it's like like i'm a big girl you know i'm fat you know and so when i be on my diets or whatever and i know i'm not supposed to eat certain things this is what i do i'll be like and i know all y'all can relate i'll be like let me just get a little piece of that just the corner give me give me a corner. I, don't, I don't want the whole thing now. you know i'm on a diet you know just give me a corner of it you know so that's what a lot of women were doing like they know they can't have in full time so they just take a little corner a little piece um i don't i am an advocate for i don't deal with men that are married i don't give a fuck about them talking about they separated i don't give a fuck about the paperwork and a lot of them don't even got paperwork. It's because those of who follow me, you know, make sure y'all go check out my I've Noticed podcast. Um, streaming, just type in I've Noticed on um, Amazon Music, Pandora, iHeart, and Spotify. Um, and I also have an I've Noticed uh, podcast page on Facebook. I'll be creating the I've Noticed Instagram page sooner or later. You know, I'm only one person. I ain't suited up and booted up in my army or my hat like Denasia Jackson you know but anyway um i just i'm just not there i'm just i'm just not there with it uh i i just i don't i'm not putting up with the bs um and that's my choice um i'm an advocate for being successfully single um i'm happy this way i talk to whoever i want to talk to that's what he need to do just just like a lot of married men it doesn't matter about them being married. Cause I, do you know how many men that I have in my inbox with their wives as they profile picture? Are they in a picture together cheesing? Don't nobody care. But you know, I I think a lot of people like the responsibility falls on a man. Okay, well, we know men are full of shit. Most of them. So as a woman, women. We need to start putting our foot down. Like, we need to start being like, uh, no. When you get a divorce, then you can come talk to me. I'm not dealing with you while you separate. The reason why I don't deal with men while they're, while they're separated is because, number one, they've been together for a little while, and typically they have children, and so their heart still relies there. And then, another thing, I'm a woman. I'm going to start having developing feelings for you, all right? And then... You're not even divorced. Ooh, that's about to be right. Ooh, look at that. You're not even divorced. And so, therefore, when something important happens, the wife got to be contacted. Hypothetically, let's say there's a wreck. Knock on wood. There's a wreck. Ain't shit I can do about it. I can't make no decisions. I can't. I can't do nothing. I can't sign no paperwork. They got to call your wife. So what, me? And, 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 I don't want to be a mistress. Fuck that. I don't want the title of being a mistress. That's horrible. Ugh. Well, listen. All I'm saying is, I feel sorry for... Couldn't be me. Won't be me. Ladies, do better. Stop dealing with these men that's spilling the right things that's saying the right things and on top of that y'all know fuck it y'all know y'all know when these men ain't shit and y'all still go for it because y'all just want a little piece it's just like being right you just want a little piece of it then you get addicted to it then you be like you know what okay well all right well it is what it is no it's not it is what it is 
let's do better. Derek Jackson ain't shit. His wife clearly, uh, you could tell by the grippers, ain't you could tell he clearly tell he's verbally abusive and uh physically abusive mentally abusive and then go listen to um to the interviews of his side chicks his mistresses not his girlfriends but his mistresses because if he's still legally married i don't give a he just he tell women that he's separate when he's really not he's really not separate he's happily married according to his wife couldn't be me ain't no sitting beside him Holding his hand. Well, he gripping her hand. And we talking, we gonna ride this out together. No. I ain't gonna be at the interview because I'm locked up. And my bond, a bail is too high. So, my cousin's still trying to do the fish fry. <laughs> trying to still sell plates to get me out. Because I'm a black out. Shit. Do me like how y'all do them white people. Like, shit. I blacked out. Like, I, I suffer from a mental illness. My blood sugar dropped. I'm, tr I'm in the process of trying to lose weight so I can be fine on the billboard when I get my Ashley Jimmy Timmy billboard. And uh, I ain't been eating like how I'm supposed to. And I blacked out. I blacked out. I mean, Jesus. But I, I'm going to go get me some red velvet cake. I'm going to do a, a video on the red velvet cake. Bye, y'all.